Black women, aren't you tired of the propaganda of us being viewed as strong, but not soft, masculine, but not feminine, combative, but not pleasant? And this is what our men are saying about us. In the black community, we were taught to be strong and educated, but not soft and feminine. Get on your feminine journey and join me on YouTube at Mrs. Danielle DeVita, my podcast, Feminine Energy with Danielle DeVita, or you can just book a session by going to mymentor.life forward slash Danielle DeVita. Get on your feminine journey today. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Uganda. Uganda scraps the anti-pornography miniskirt law. I'm sure you're probably thinking, if, especially if you're watching it from, you know, the West side, you're like, pornography, miniskirt, wait, what? Yes, there was a law in Uganda that prohibited women from wearing, wearing skirts because they believed that um, it is too pornographic. Anyways, for you to just understand what uh, it was like eight years ago, you will understand why people are excited that it has changed now. Last week, Ethics and Integrity Minister Reverend Father Simon Lokodo tabled the anti-pornography bill, which provoked instant public debate. Mini skirts and mini dresses are trendy and we have a right to fashion, you know. The bill seeks to outlaw the publication and access to pornographic materials through print, electronic and the internet. Anything related to indecent dressing, therefore exposing certain parts of the anatomy of a person, all right, I call it, I call it pornographic and therefore uh, condemned. However, on day one of the committee's public hearings, the Uganda Communications Commission is rejecting the bill. So as you saw, that was just eight years ago. They were saying that women should not be allowed to wear skirts because, you know, it is pornographic. And that's what they believed up until now. Now they have, it looks like they have changed their minds and they are allowing women to wear um, mini skirts. And um, it is really interesting to hear about that because some things, you know, for example, where I come from, Ethiopia, I don't believe there's any laws when it comes to wearing a miniskirt or that or anything of that nature but it's like taboo well people still wear miniskirts and stuff but you will feel it you will feel the eyes burning your legs <laughs> or like it's just it's it's um i would say we're more conservative so it's just so hard. I mean, you can wear a miniskirt and people wear that. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's in Saudi Arabia, but um, not too short, you know, not short shorts. It can be closer to your knees. It can be a bit higher than your knees and that's fine. Um, even shorter than that, like you see people wearing it, but you will feel uncomfortable because it's just, it's in the society, like the way not a lot of people walk out in a bra the way I see in the US or other European countries, right? So I didn't, I don't believe there's any law in Ethiopia that prohibits, but the society, you know, there's, there's something, people think just because the law changes, now the society changes. Even if there's something uh, in the law that says, do it, you can do it, and that's perfectly fine. It's your right if the society is not ready for it, it's it's irrelevant you might not be legally charged but the people that they are going to give you some kind of hell while you're living in the society at the end of the day you're living in the community right so in uganda i find it interesting that it was in the law now eventually they changed it because they say it it's not in the constitution like it goes against the constitution there's no such thing so in a way it's not even fair to make it illegal uh, for women to wear miniskirts so yeah uh, definitely i'm sure women many women are going to be excited because they were not legally allowed up until this point but other women the more conservative side i can see them not just women and men uh, women and men i can see them uh, getting unhappy because they feel like this is changing their values and principles and i also empathize with that because 
values, culture, principles, it's up to that person and that community, you know, you can't just push that on other people. So this one, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong. Me personally, I like mini skirts. So if I was a Ugandan, I would have been happy. So I'm not sure what, you know, people are feeling about this change but if you're from Uganda let us know down below what your thoughts are about miniskirt being allowed and if you're not from Uganda what are your thoughts finding out that Uganda um, has changed the miniskirt law. I am Ogilza Lalam bringing you the story I will see you on the next one bye. Join me on the fourth annual homecoming and pilgrimage to Sierra Leone on December 28th 2021 through January 9th 2022. We will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports. For more details, check out our website, sierraleonepilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Ham Lifestyle Vlogs, because we all need an Africa escape plan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.